amount of times I tried to do that with the gum leaf. It's a show <laughs> that put Australia on the map about a boy and his pet kangaroo. And the theme tune is basically <laughs> just part of our DNA, isn't it? Absolutely. As does seeing our, well, it's part of our DNA, seeing our next guest, yeah. the handsome helicopter pilot, Still handsome. Jerry King, in real life known as Tony Bonner. He joins us now with his lovely daughter, Chelsea. Good morning hey, to you both. Morning, 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 morning. Great to have you here. Tony, how does it make you feel when you see the little clips like that, the little flashbacks? Well, it's kind of like another lifetime. It's so long ago now. I mean, it's 55 years since we did that show. Oh, you know, and I mean, still to be alive is extraordinary, <laughs> yeah. the manner in which I used to live. Um, you know, so it's, it's kind of bizarre, you know, to sit with my daughter now, who's big, grown up, running her own international business. Uh, you, you know, she wasn't in the radar back when I started that show. Well, I, wasn't even, I, was, I was 10 years away. Yeah, yeah so, right. And yeah. that's the thing, though, because we all grew up, and some yeah. of us grew up with famous parents, and you've certainly done that. Yours is worldwide on this show. Yeah. You've got your own successful career, which we'll touch on in a second, but mm. growing up mm. under that, because we all came home from school, 3.34 yep. o'clock, and Skippy yep. was on religiously. We so, all did, yeah. And even so we did. did. You we did, did too? Oh, yeah. We, we, were, we loved Skippy. I mean, who doesn't love a kangaroo who mm. <laughs> can make things and, <laughs> can you know, the, when you're that violence. He's like, like MacGyver. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was the MacGyver, the kangaroo, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, we, we loved it. All our, all our um, friends at school loved it. Um, Mum said when I was very little, before I understood the difference between real dad and TV dad, mm -hmm. that I'd talk to the TV and cry because he wouldn't talk back to me. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh see, that's so sweet. I'd try and get his attention and she'd say, it's, she's just on the TV, but I couldn't, I thought he was in the Stray. TV. How yeah. confusing. Yeah. It, it wasn't just a hit here in Australia. Globally, at its peak, 300 million viewers mm -hmm. were watching Skippy a week Well, uh, the still world. to this day, yeah. it's the most successful television series still uh, ever made in Australia. Uh, for exports, for sales, for uh, merchandising. Mm. Uh, I mean, it, it's bizarre. I've been to places in the world where you wouldn't have presumed uh, it would have been translated uh, and, and dubbed into, you know, Ubuskan or some extraordinary country. It still and plays in India every day. Yeah. Yeah. Every really? day, yeah. yes. Yeah. It's That's bizarre. amazing. Yeah. It pro it, the profits from that, David, help build this yeah. Goliath you're in now. Yeah, Actually, well, that's true. Uh, 100%. I won't we thank you very much. Thank yes. you once again. <laughs> Chelsea, something um, happened, though, uh, with your dad's career that made you want to do things a little bit differently and start mm. your own modelling agency. Is that right? Yes, yeah. Well, I mean, just being the child, and you'd know this, of, of parents who are in the entertainment industry, and you see their highs and lows and, and everything that they go through and the power that the agent has over your life, over your career, over your bookings, over everything that happens in your family. So, um, you know, we grew up waiting for the phone to ring, as I'm sure you did yeah. too. And so I just thought, when I grow up, I want to do this differently. And especially after Dad had an agent who will remain nameless, who took off not just with Dad's money and finances but a lot of dad's friends who were also actors and disappeared to Ibiza or wherever mm. you know people go mm. and um, but that left our family really destitute um, yeah. until dad got another job and and in Australia as you as you guys would know getting a job in entertainment is not that easy there's a lot of people and very few jobs so mm. and there's a myth here you know, I think that it's we're not America we don't have we are not we, America you know, if a show no. goes into you know yeah. syndication that's it that's you know the Big yes. Bang Theory set up for life with 20 million a year that's but exactly that's right not this industry. that is not the Australian entertainment industry so it looks on the surface like people earn a lot of money but they earn a, a chunk of money that has to last a long time that's right. yes. in between gigs and so um, I just you know, re it really affected me. It really mm. affected me to see mum and dad so upset. Um, just just little ch life choices we had to make that were so different for quite a few years. Mm. Um, no holidays internationally or, or interstate. We went on, um, you know, friends' friends uh, houseboats and sure. hired a camper van for mm. one summer holiday. And mm. just, you know, little things which, which were all fun. But um, mm. I, I just changes. thought one day... I'm going to do it properly and take, make sure people Absolutely. are taken care of. Oh, good yeah. on you. Yeah. Tony, your role in Skippy couldn't be further from uh, your role in the thriller Landfall. Mm. You were named Best Supporting Actor uh, at the Oz International Film Festival in Melbourne for that role. Mm. Tell us a bit about that. Well, uh, it was really driven by the uh, young director, writer, uh, producer, Travis Bain. Uh, Travis wrote this piece, uh, contacted me. I hadn't met Travis before. And he said, I have a character that I've watched you in several films and television, and I think you could grab hold of this mm. man. And uh, 
Uh, I did, uh, and I seem to have grabbed hold of him. Um, mm. And it was, uh, so it, it was th from that process of really wanting to be with a young director, producer on the way up, mm. uh, that I do quite a lot. I do a lot of films, short films and indie films uh, with exceptional young people that have come through after us, through the film and television school, sure. mm. um, uh, that are now just kind of starting their journey. And it's great to be with them. Um, at, at this I mean, beginning. It's also great for know. them to, to mm. get your experience, I think. Yeah. Sure. I think that's really vital for them. Yeah. Just, I was going to ask you just quickly, have you ever, are you representing your dad? No. <laughs> is that, is we, that an impossible we task? We try. Did yeah. you? Yeah. Oh, no, just occasionally we get, a, you know, an audition through for something or whatever and, and um, I'll say to dad, oh, can I put you forward for that? But ten times out of ten, his agent's already put him forward for oh, okay. it. So, yeah. yeah, so it's kind of good, though, because I know everything It's good to going separate, on, separate so, church and state. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Very wise. Yes. Very wise. Yes. Um, Chelsea and Tony, it's so great to see you both. Thank, Thank you so you. much for coming Thanks in. And congratulations you. on the new role. And I hope um, business starts picking up in the entertainment industry yes. for you and yes. all of your clients. And Tony, well. thanks for the building, by the way. Yes. Thank yes. You. <laughs> the, it's only great. The shiny I want a car to space next. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. You, whatever you want, sir, you can have. <laughs> Take care. Thank you.